Hey you guys and welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming to you today to do a reading. I wanted to hop on real quick and do a collective reading for the super moon, blood moon, lunar eclipse that is happening tomorrow, May 26th. It is crazy, okay? I can only imagine the energy that's happening in the cosmos. So, <laughs> I wanted to do a reading for the collective on it. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I just wanted to do something. Um, oh, okay. We have some stuff flying out. <laughs> I'll put those back because I haven't even asked anything. I wanted to do something... Um, to see what you guys are experiencing, even myself included in that collective, um, what you can experience or what you can expect rather for this super moon, blood moon that's happening tomorrow, what's going on in your, your life, your family, your love life, what can you expect, okay? So we're going to ask about love first, what's going on with the collective and their love life for this super moon blood moon lunar eclipse lunar eclipse i do want to say that lunar uh eclipses can have something to do with the shadow side of your mother lunar meaning the moon meaning mother okay the moon rules the mother and solar eclipses the sun rules the father so you may have some things coming out with your mother Maybe some issues with the mom. We do have the four of cups that wanted to flip over. Some of you may be rejecting offers, maybe telling someone no. Someone around you may feel rejected when it comes to your love life um, for tomorrow. We also have the page of swords. So someone may be spying. Okay, you may have a lot of people um, that are spying on you. Um, for the collective, a lot of people may be watching you. And I feel like with the Four of Cups, like you don't even care. So you may be in this energy of rejecting someone. Someone may be feeling rejected by you. Um, but they're still watching with the Page of Swords. They're still lurking. What else do, does the collective need to know? Because these, this uh, Blood Moon is in Sagittarius, Okay. So it breeds a lot of anger. People who are dealing with anger issues, there may be a, a jealous ex or someone who is very upset or angry. I feel like something had flipped over. Yeah. What else do they need to know about their love life? Three of Wands, Eight of Cups. So yeah, there may be someone at a distant or, or who has been distant. Wanting to come back around, wanting to come back into your life. Um, some of you may be walking away, choosing to walk away. And let me tell you, whenever you have a blood moon, a super moon, that transit of the moon is so powerful. Some of you are going through divorces. Some of you are choosing to move out. Some of you are choosing to move overseas. Some of you may be traveling overseas as well. There's something big that may be coming in your life as it pertains to love. There's something you may get um, a proposal. Someone may actually propose. You may be getting ready to propose to someone. You may be thinking about it, planning on it. Some of you are getting ready to plan a big trip with your loved one, meaning your lover, the person who you're in relationship with. Some of you may have a surprise trip coming that you didn't know about. Okay, so what's coming in? What can the collective expect to come in? What's coming in for their love life? Wow, look at that. Ace, <laughs> Ace of Wands, a lot of sex. Yes, moon in Sagittarius. Let me tell you, when the moon is transiting through Sagittarius, lots of fire energy. Okay, so I posted this on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, um, Sophia Monet, just Sophia Monet, not tarot, but just Sophia Monet. And you can find me on Instagram. But I just posted this in my stories about how there will be lots of sex during this time because the moon is in a fire sign energy and <laughs> 
it's all about that passion, that heat. So you may be feeling very um, turned on, shall I say, <laughs> during this transit that's happening. Now, let me be clear, when we have super moons and uh, full moons, you'll feel this energy uh, two weeks up, leading up to it and two weeks after. It's that potent, okay? So you could have already been in this energy of the Ace of Wands, feeling very turned on, wanting more sex. Your sex drive may have been very high um, in these last two weeks. Some of you could have found out that you're pregnant. Or um, if you're a guy, that's a whole book. If you're a guy, you could find out that you're expecting with a significant other. Yeah. Okay, what else? Look, Queen of Swords. Yeah. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. <clears throat> There's this feeling like you may be a little bit bitchy toward people. <laughs> moon and uh, the super super moon being in Sagittarius, meaning there will be a lot of anger, okay, that needs to be dealt with. The moon is not comfortable in a fire sign. The moon is soft. When you think about the moon, the moon is very soft, loving, caring, giving. Um, when you when you get the moon in Sagittarius, you're getting this transit of people who are cutting you off, people who are flipping you off on the road, you know, people who are stingy, people will be more abrasive, people are more willing to debate, have arguments. So everyone is in this this energy of the Queen of Swords, very cutthroat energy. I'm gonna just let you know now. So you may get into it with your loved one, <clears throat> your spouse, your partner. You may feel like getting away by yourself. Some of you want to separate. Some of you may have those arguments. Divorce may even come up, okay? Separations may happen. Breakups may happen. You may ghost somebody. They may ghost you, okay? So be careful of this energy because it won't last forever, okay? But it is potent, and I want to uh, make you aware of that. We do have the Two of Swords that came out next. Someone is all in their head. You may be all in your head when it comes to a certain relationship, okay? You may be trying to make a choice between two people when you get the Two of Swords, okay? You may not want to. I feel like when I get the Two of Swords, it's this energy of having to make a decision that you don't want to make. You really don't want to make this decision, but you know you have to. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, the Two of Pentacles. <clears throat> Some of you don't know whether you should communicate with someone or not. It's like, should I reach out or not? With the Four of Swords and the Two of Pentacles being there. Four of Swords meaning no communication. And then Two of Pentacles meaning indecision. So you don't know if you should come out of uh, non-communication and reach out. Or should you just stay to yourself? It's like a lot of indecision here. What do you have coming in? What do you have coming in? Because some of y'all... Y'all may just want to cut people off <laughs> for this super moon, moon in Sagittarius transit for this lunar eclipse. What do we have coming in for my collective for their love life? What do we have coming in for their love life? Oh, some of you could be getting a Scorpio. Scorpio could be strong in your chart or strong in someone's chart that's coming in. <clears throat> some of you have endings coming in when you get the death card. Some of you are transforming. It's like if you were with someone who was treating you like crap, it's like you're ready to end that to set yourself free, so to speak. You're ready to transform. Death brings transformation. So some of you are ready to transform what you've been getting, okay, and ready to move on to something greater, okay? What else do you want to say to, to the collective? For this super moon, lunar eclipse, moon and Sagittarius energy for their love life. What else do we have? Mm, you're manifesting. Yeah. The magician, Gemini energy. A lot of you are manifesting. <clears throat> and we all are, honestly. <laughs> I'm manifesting things to come into my own life. And I'm sure you all are too. You are in the magician's energy. So you are trying to make things happen. A lot of you are trying to manifest bringing love into your life. You want someone real. You want someone who's ready, someone who's on your level. Some of you are 
<laughs> using a little magic, so to speak, okay? Using a little magic to bring someone in. Some of you may be into spells or incantations or something like that. When you get the magician energy, it's someone who knows how to manipulate energy to um, benefit themselves. So you are in this energy, you're making things happen, and you're manifesting love, okay, into your life. So what's going on with the career? <laughs> what's going on with you and your job, okay? You and your job, honey. <clears throat> what's going on with you and your job? Stuff wants to fly out everywhere. What's going on with you and your job, you and your career, you and your money, finances, career, money, finances for this lunar eclipse? What's going on? What's going on with you? Yeah, seven of pentacles, the star card, six of pentacles, ooh, and the sun at the bottom of the deck, Leo energy, the sun. Some of you are getting ready to step into... I feel <clears throat> saving your coin and then stepping up to open maybe your own business. Some of you need to learn how to save your money so you can do that. <laughs> but some of you are already doing that. Okay, with the seven of pentacles, when it comes to your money, I feel like spirit is saying, you know, watch what you're spending. Make sure that you're saving your coin. Okay, some of you may be stepping into a place of popularity or fame with the star card. Um, I do want to say also I'm feeling this energy because the star card brings healing. With that star energy, I'm feeling like a lot of you are healers. A lot of you are psychic. A lot of you have intuitive powers that you're not using. A lot of you are not utilizing those gifts and talents that have been given to you by spirit. Um... I know you sit and you listen to tarot and you you look at these videos and stuff. And some of you, you pick up on psychic little things, you know, inclinations and you don't say anything or you don't do anything about it. I want to encourage you to step out and be that star that you know you are. OK, don't be afraid of the limelight. Uh, when it comes to your career. Also, with the six of pentacles, you may be giving too much or spending too much. OK, and that's what I was saying about the seven of pentacles because it came out first. So you may be uh, dishing out a little too much money. So be careful with your spending when it comes to money and finances. Make sure that you are saving. Some of you need to go into accounting or something like that. Or you may be in accounting, uh, banking. Some of you are financial advisors and you want to like expand your your clientele make sure that you are doing so don't just think about it but put those things into action okay moon and sagittarius is all about action and that's the transit that we're going through tomorrow okay whoa what just flipped out <laughs> oh that death card wants to come out again wow so why the death card for the career queen of pentacles wow are some of you leaving a job wanting to leave a job that's what I feel. Some of you um, <clears throat> may be getting ready to transition um, to a different position, okay? When you get the Queen of Pentacles, it's like something ends and then your money steps up real big, okay? So some of you are becoming a Queen of Pentacles, meaning your money is growing, but you have to start saving. You have to start making smart moves when it comes to your money, um, when it comes to your finances, <clears throat> If you live from paycheck to paycheck, it's never going to work, okay? Make sure you're putting a little, <clears throat> excuse me, to the side, making sure that you're saving. But I feel like something is about to end so that you can step into the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you, a relationship or a marriage is ending and you're getting a settlement. Some of you are getting a settlement. For some reason, I'm getting the feeling of uh, like death and taxes <laughs> with the government. Uh, so some of you may be getting a check or something from the government that you've been waiting on. Maybe, maybe you've been waiting on an unemployment return or something like that. I feel like that money is going to come through for you. Okay, lots of changes happening. So what's going on with your family? Tell me about the family. What's going on? <clears throat> Let me get these cards over here. 
what's going on with the family for the collective what's going on with their family for the collective what do they need to hear and know <clears throat> i tell you these cards are flying everywhere these cards are slippery what's going on with the family what do they need to hear and know for the family four of pentacles three okay three of cups and justice some of you are reuniting with your family. Some of you are coming back. No more looking at the past with the seven of pentacles being at the bottom of the deck and the eight of cups. Some of you um, <clears throat> have walked away from your family or maybe you're just distant emotionally from your family. But I see a coming back. Yeah, a reunion of some sort. Some of you may be planning a reunion this summer now that a lot of travel bans have been lifted, a lot of the travel restrictions have been lifted um, from the pandemic. You know, a lot of us have not seen our families. So with the fourth pentacles, it's like you you may have held back. Some of you are saving, <clears throat> saving for a trip to go and see your family, reuniting three of cups with your family. Some of you are celebrating with your families uh, coming up in this, this, I feel like in the next few days or next few weeks, some of you are going to travel um, to see someone. Uh, see your loved ones with that justice card some of you may be getting money from a family member or something someone owed you money or something like that maybe that's why uh, some of you fell out or have been distant from your family members um, but some of you are getting justice making things right with your family once you reunite with them some of you are making things right justice is coming through okay what else about the family what else about the family? I feel like people who have not been speaking, they're coming back together for the collective. I feel like people who have not been speaking to one another, someone is going to feel that prompt to reach out. Someone is going to feel the prompt to reach out. What else does the collective need to know about their family? What's going on? Yeah, Will of Fortune, Page of Wands. Yeah. Communication is coming in. Yeah, possibly with someone who's older than you. Yeah, look, Wheel of Fortune, things are going to open up and move forward. I feel like lines of communication, um, a relationship in the family is coming back together. You may be younger than them, okay? Um, this may be an older parent, an uncle with the Vir uh, Virgo energy coming through with the Hermit and the Page of Wands. It's like, I see the two of you communicating, talking, like there's respect going back and forth. Do you see how the these two are facing each other? With the Page of Wands, that's always someone younger. So this may be an elder that you fell out with. Some of you are going to a, a family member to get counsel or wisdom. You need to listen to what they have to say. Some of you are angry about a situation and you need to talk to this uh, person about it. Um, when you get the page of wands, it's fire sign energy. So you may be upset um, and need to talk to someone wise in the family about your issue or what you're dealing with. Okay. There's something with the mother. Okay. That will come out. That's been hidden. Okay. I'm getting mother energy with the empress here in uh, talking about your family. And then with the moon, there are secrets with the mom. Someone needs to talk to their mother. Someone needs to ask the mother some questions. There's something with the mom. Remember, lunar means the moon. The moon rules the mother. So in when you have a lunar eclipse like we're having tomorrow, you will get secrets with the mom. And for the moon to actually literally come out with the empress, there may be a secret pregnancy um, someone may be secretly pregnant. They're not telling anyone. <clears throat> Some of y'all may find out that you're pregnant and keep it a secret. There's something like that that may come out. Okay. So be aware of that as well. And let's get one more card for the collective and their family. What's going on? Ten of swords. Yeah. You may have felt a lot of hurt, betrayal, um, that you're getting over the ten of swords means there has been hurt in the past and now you're trying to get over it okay you're trying to heal you may have felt stabbed in the back by someone in the family but now you're trying to heal you're trying to get over that and move forward yeah there's been a lot of stubbornness with the seven of wands here um there could have been a lot of anger with the queen of wands energy aries leo sag 
uh, someone who was bossy or controlling in the family, but now there's something here where spirit wants to work things out. Yeah, there was lots. Look at that. Ten of cups was in reverse. So uh, five of swords with the ten of cups, someone could have been a liar. Um, someone could have been cheating in the family or just causing disharmony in the family. Um, and now there's a chance to reconcile. Remember that three of cups came out first with the justice card. Now spirit is giving you a chance to reconcile uh, the things that have been lost in the family, uh, meaning loss of communication or lack of love, lack of trust, lack of communication. And now there's a chance to reconcile it after holding back for so long. Alrighty, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this reading for the super moon, full moon, blood moon, lunar eclipse that is happening May 26, 2021. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I look forward to hearing from you and I will have you guys as weeklies up tomorrow. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Alrighty, take care. Bye.